So I'm on my way to uh, my cousin's house in a little town called Jerseyville, just not far in between Hamilton and, and Brantford. So we're gonna go up there and we're gonna go show you how you can uh, dig up free trees, free maple trees to be exact. So let's uh, let's get on over there and show you how it's done. So we're at my, uh, my cousin's property here. And again, if you have family members that have property that possibly have a, a wood lot or a tree line there's how you find the trees okay so let's get over here and see what we're gonna grab and I'll show you what we're how we're gonna do it okay so we're right at the house here we're not far into the tree line and we've already got a whole bunch of maples here so these are all saplings that grew from these trees that are just above it so they've been dropping their kin and their kin have been growing and now I'm gonna adopt them and uh, put them on my property and put them to work so it's pretty easy to find uh, basically you can tell also by the leaf if you have to do a, an identification on here you can tell this I know is a sugar maple because I can tell by the leaf but uh, there's definitely silver maples to be mixed up in here which is okay that's only a difference between uh, 10 and uh, excuse me it's a 1 in 40 1 to 40 when you're doing sugar maples for syrup and it's a uh, 1 in 50 if you use silver that's uh 50 liters to one liter of syrup so so we're gonna we're gonna pull these out of the ground and i'll show you how we dig up these these trees here well, i'm just gonna check first you want me to dig about here right yeah you want to go around about uh you know 12 inches on around it or yeah. something when they're this big this is a fairly decent size maple tree right here you can see it's probably taller than me so we're looking at eight feet or so so my cousin's gonna start digging in around there so get down deep okay. yeah you're gonna want to go a little deeper there you go and at one point or another you are gonna hit a hard root probably with the size of this tree um, but you can see you just want to get down nice and deep and then what you're gonna slowly do is get under it and then kind of pry it up and take out the main tap root if it's in the way it should be fine That's it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And you just do a little prying. Every time you, you take a shot, you just pry a little bit more and a little bit more. And she should come loose eventually. So you can see she's wiggling pretty good. There we go. There's a nice little root ball. There you go. And you hear that pop. That was one of the main tap roots breaking, which is fine as long as there's enough root in there. So take a look at this root ball here and we're gonna put it in a bag and save it up so nice looking tree roots are in good shape still this and because it's in October these are about to go into dormancy so it'll be easier to transplant less transplant shock all my trees from last year made it so hopefully this year they'll make it next year all right here's the first haul uh, good thing he's got a little trailer to help me Pull them out of the out of the bush there. Well, we got probably I don't know 10 or 12 in here already. Now we just got to put them in the truck, and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, there's probably about 20 trees here, and uh, we'll get a, a better count when we get back to the to the farm, which is where where we're on our way here. There's, there's all kinds of them in there. I got the bags around the roots to try and keep the moisture in, but the dirt's quite dry. Everything's going into its dormant stage as it's turning color. So let's get back to the farm then. Oh, we need to clear some of this uh, tall scrub here in order to uh, get some more maples in here. And I'm gonna have to make a decision on whether I want to remove or move these bigger walnuts over here because Walnuts and maples don't really mix. One will take over the other and most likely the walnut will win. It's all because of that jug loan they produce. But uh, yeah, over here where we're gonna start is uh, last year's maple. Yeah, it's doing just fine. It's doing just fine. Um, got a little bit of growth on it this year. But it'll probably sprout better next year. But it's all this uh, brush around here, all this burdock and whatever other weeds are in here that I don't know how to diagnose yet or or tell you what they are because I just don't know but let's get started 
So this tree's in the way here, so we're just gonna move this one. That was the uh, thorn tree I just didn't get back to taking out. We're gonna get rid of that one. And I'm already digging a hole for the first uh, maple tree. There we go. We got our first, this is the one of the, the wind whipped ones, but it's in the ground. I'm gonna get a little more dirt and I'm gonna mound that up a little bit more. And at one point or another, I'm gonna have to get some water to kind of fill in the gaps where the roots are because that was uh, pretty broken up so the roots were pretty exposed but uh, that's one down umpteenth ready to go let's go uh, let's get back to work morning um, a little brisk morning it's supposed to warm up today a bit I'm gonna get back onto the greenhouse but uh, yesterday I was able to plant a number of those or transplant a number of those maple trees that I got now the best thing about maple trees or any tree for that matter is that if you want to get it for free you got to know somebody you got to know a family member who knows a friend who knows a friend a cousin a loved one a girlfriend mother-in-laws or just in-laws so these are all my maple trees right here we got them lined up all the way down the uh, left side of the property here which is this is uh, eventually gonna be the road on this uh, the left side here but uh, yeah everything went uh, pretty good my brother gave me a hand which uh, yeah I probably wouldn't have got all this done if he didn't help me out so thanks to Trev Okay, we're still on the left side. Um, I got another one down here. This will be number four that we put in right here. This is, uh, there's a big gap right here in, uh, in the tree line. So I've been slowly kind of building it back up again. So there's, the, there's one and it's right here next to my worm tea collector. We're gonna come back over here, and this is, like I said, number four. And then what I did is went on the back side of over here and cleared out a lot of this brush. Again, with the help of my brother. And there's five. And we're gonna leave this brush up here for now. Um, it acts as a windbreak right now, so until these trees get a little more solid and we build up this fence line a little bit better. And then here's six, seven, and we'll be coming up to my uh, my composter. This is last year's, which made it. And what was I at? Seven, eight, and then still again all down the left side because I wanted this to uh, line the road on the left side of the property. This one, and then again, all of them until they get to the end, which is from last year. And I just lined them up. And they, they should all take, I hope they do. I mean, like I said, they're in their, near their dormancy stage, so they're ready to kick leaves off and just uh, go for a sleep, go for a little nap. And this is the uh, last year's maple. She's a little weak, but I didn't get in here to cut anything. Next year it'll be different. I'll, I'll definitely be uh, manicuring a little better so they can grow better. A lot of this brush doesn't need to be here, but I didn't have time to cut it this year. I just, uh, working on that greenhouse just took a lot of my time. Here's one other one right here. This is a little skinny maple here. He's struggling. They're competing a bit for all these weeds, eh? And some of these weeds take a lot of the nutrients out of the ground. But, uh, yeah. Final total. So, we had uh, 12 transplants this weekend, plus 9 more that I just put in pots. Because I didn't 
really have the time and don't really know where to put them. So until I figure that out, which I have plenty of time, they'll stay right here. So as I was saying, you also have to look in your tree lines if you have any. And in my tree line is hickory. So coming down here, there's a couple of hickory trees. There's gonna be one right here. There's one right there. There's another one right there. See the big, big leaf right there in the middle. And then there's a tree that's been growing right here for a little while. It's kind of going through its stages right now. So these are shag bark hickories. And I will be probably pulling them out and uh, putting them in pots and getting them ready for a different spot. All right, so I just spent some time just putting these little T-screws in here, getting them set up to, uh, to apply to these rails. So I'm gonna have to do that. I still have to source these little T-nuts here. They're hard to find. Uh, if anybody knows, put it in my comments, would you? Appreciate it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend some time putting these in, getting these rails uh, measured up and straightened out for the glass. I'm gonna probably put in some butyl tape ahead of time, but I probably won't be putting in any glass because I don't have a lot of screws. I do believe I lost a thousand or so screws. So I'll have to be looking for them. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So I'll show you what I've done when I, I'm all finished up here. Here's our little baby chickens. These are a couple of weeks. I think these are a week or two weeks old. Get better, better angle on them. There's a couple of them in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. I think there's eight of those. And we just had some baby chicks. So these are these are the little cuties right in here. These are the little cuties right here. And these were just born the other day. So, there's a couple of them in there. Just chilling, just chilling, getting bigger. Oh, here's our new chicken tractor here. So instead of the chickens being over there in that cucumber garden, I think mom put the quail in there and grabbed the, the other baby chicks that are now chickens. We're doing all right. Get out the sun here so you can see a picture. Oh, there they are. Yeah, so you can just pick it up and move it along. 